I uh, channeled some messages that I was getting from Spirit and he's wanting me to tell you guys, you know, watch the company that you keep. Um, there's a lot of people out there that, that wonder why things happen to them when they have their friends around. Me personally, I, I got a lot of people that I, are in my life, you know, I have I have a few family that I speak with and I have a lot of acquaintances, you know, friends from school, stuff like that. Um, I don't really keep in touch with a lot of them too much, you know what I mean? I, I tend to isolate myself, not not because anything, that's just the way I prefer things. I'm 36 years old, so I've, I've lived my life, you know, I've been living and I've been learning since I was 17, since I was 13 years old. So, and I came from a rough past, so I've learned a lot along the way. I, I've learned, I've learned a lot. And one of the main lessons that I had learned was from very, very young, which is why I isolated myself, was watch the company that you keep. Uh, watch your friends, you know, watch loved ones, sometimes even our own person, you know, our spouses. It's sad, it's really sad the way the world works. Um, I know, you know, many people where they love their person so much, but in the blink of an eye, they will do the most hurtful things ever, you know, turn their back on you, backstab you, cheat on you, lie to you, steal from you. And I'm talking about people that are, you know, the closest that you think are, they can do no wrong. So it really hurts when those times come. Uh, so when, you know, I've, I've learned my lessons, I really watch the company that I keep. I've had friends steal from me, I've had, you know, backstab, lies, betrayals, um, the spirit was always by my side, let me know what was going on, so I always was ahead of the game. I just gave these people the benefit of the doubt, and I let them think what they want to think, but I eliminated them, eliminated them from my life. Um, and that's the way it will always be. I'll never feel like I need to be with somebody, or I'm going to die if I don't have that person. No, no, no. If, if spirit wants me, if God wants me to get rid of somebody from my life, just like that, I'll get rid of them in the blink of an eye. I, I won't hesitate. I won't go against what God says. God is, is leading the way, and I lead by faith, not by sight. So whatever he chooses is what I do. Uh, so back to it, you know, watch the company you keep. You know, your best friend is your worst enemy. Your best friend is your worst enemy. And that's not always the case, but, you know, depending where you're at, uh, you know, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, down here in this state, in this city, it's a uh, it's a dog eat dog world. Like it's a uh, it's it's pretty bad out here. It's different. It's different. You got to really watch your environment. Um, your best friends will steal from you. Your best friends will steal from you. They know what time you go to work. They know what time you're home. What time you're not home. They know everything about you. And then if you're you know one of those that opens up to your friends, your best friends. They know all the juicy information you give. They know all the lies, all the details. If you're that type of person, they know everything because you tell them everything. So everything that you're telling them is now fuel for something that they can later use against you. I've lived life, guys, and, and I've had a lot of instances turn on me where I'm thinking the person that I'm with or talking to or, you know, friends, they're on my side or we're friends or they'll just turn right on you. They'll turn right on you. You know, um, it's, it's really quite sad, guys, but you, you really need to watch that company. Don't ever put all your trust into your friends. Oh, they ain't going to do it. Watch that, man. Watch that. That that will turn on you real quick. If it's them or you, who's it going to be? Unless they're living with God right, then you ain't never got to worry about that. If they're good people. You don't got to worry about that. If, you know, if, if you've known them all your life, you don't got to worry about that. But this message is to the ones that, you know, you got you get that intuitive sense of, of, man, should I really trust this person? Or you already know their past and, and they've never changed or tried to change or want to change or willing to change. You know, so what do you, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think they're going to do to you? Um, never give too much information. Never give more than what's needed. Never give too much information. Never give more than what's needed. You don't got to tell your whole life story to somebody. You don't got to tell all the details. You don't got to jump from relationship to relationship and tell all your past and tell. Let, let that stuff die, guys. Let it die. Let, let whatever your, your past die. Let it fade out. If it was negative, let it die. Let it fade out. 
you know, ask God to remove that from your life, from your mind, from your heart, and just let that die. If you're one of those people that's all about drama, always about bringing up the past, talking about your exes, talking about this, talking about that, you're the problem. You're the problem. Your life won't change until you fix you first. You're never going to grow as a person spiritually if you don't want to fix you first. So don't don't go trying to fix people or trying to get them to tell you the truth or trying to eliminate them. Don't try to have to win somebody's love over. Eliminate them. They're not for you. They're not for you. The right one won't come along. Don't don't feel like you're lost in hope and you don't know what to do and, and all this or this. Watch how when you eliminate these people, maybe you don't even know God's telling you to eliminate them from your life. Or maybe, you know, some maybe you're you, you're planning something and you got some friends that are supposed to be watching something or doing something. Maybe this video's for you. You know, watch what you're doing. Be careful, guys. You know, I, I have a message of, of trying to raise our energy and raise our vibration. And if you allow these things to keep happening, it's going to keep hurting. And if it's not hurting me because I've already lived it. But it's going to hurt you, your others, your loved ones, your kids, your family members, your friends. You know, it'll hurt others if they're, it's a, if it's a more than one of y'all, two of y'all, you know, three, four of y'all, you know, might hurt others. It's a, so just a warning on, on, on what to look for. So that way you don't have to go through what I did. And you won't have to feel the way I felt at times in the past. Uh, sorry, my throat chakra messing with me. Um, but yeah, I see the message doesn't want to come out of me. Somebody don't want that message to come out of me. <laughs> that's funny, but um, that's the way it is, guys. So you always watch the company you keep because your best friends will steal from you. Your family will steal from you. You, you got to stop the cycle and you won't stop it by trying to change somebody. You'll stop it by making a change within yourself first, by eliminating them, speaking with God, asking what, asking what God has for you, what he wants you to do. And you'll feel it, you'll sense it, you know, quit, quit fighting those feelings when you, you have that devil and the angel on your shoulder. Always do what's right, always do what's right. So if you're doing right, only good could come from it. You're putting out good energy into the universe, you have a high vibration, only good's gonna come from it. Patience, you gotta be patient. It's not gonna happen overnight, it's not gonna happen next week. It might take a month, it might take a year, who knows? It might be a little longer than that. It all depends on where God has in store for you, what he has in mind for you, what your plan is, what your mission is, and he's seen how you're picking up your mission. And it'll get easier and easier and easier. So peace and love, guys.